This is Jamie from Stillmeyer Games, and today I'm going to talk about my favorite mechanisms in Skull King, which is an older game, but I played it for the first time recently and I really enjoyed it. I found that I really enjoy games that escalate or ramp over the course of the game. Games like The Mind, The Crew, or Wizard are examples of this. I have another video about this topic as well that I'll link to in the description below, where within the game, you start out very simply, and that's the case in Skull King. You start out tr with a one-card hand, and you are trying to win a trick with that card. And then in the second round, you have a two card hand, you get two cards, you shuffle all the cards back together, you get two cards, and you play two tricks. Um, and then so on, up until 10, a typical play of a uh, game of Skull King goes up until 10. So this, I think, really helps the learning curve of the game and helps you start with very low stakes. Uh, if you mess up early on, that's fine. And part of the key of the game is that you are, before each round, you are guessing how many tricks you will win. You're declaring a number. You're saying, I think I'm going to win one trick this round. And it's crucially important that you try to get that number correct. And by so by ramping up, uh, you give players a chance to acclimate to the game to figure out how many tricks they actually need to bid um, as the game escalates further and further. The other thing this mechanism does, this ramping mechanism, is that it allows for big swings late in the game. So you get to feel like you're in the game even until the last round. In the game that we played, really it was anyone's game. Even though a player had negative points going into the round, into the last round, a player had negative points, and yet they still had a chance to win if they had a giant final round. And part of that is tied to another mechanism that I like. Just a quick thing I'll say here is that you can bid zero. And if you get that correct, so if you win no tricks and you've bid zero, uh, you get uh, 10 points times the current round. So if it's the, the, the last round, the 10th round, and you bid zero and you win no tricks, 10 times the 10th round is 100 points. So that can result in a huge swing. Meanwhile, while you're doing that, another player might have a really good hand and they might get a bunch of points as well from doing that. Because uh, for every, if you guess correctly, if, if you say, okay, I'm going to win three tricks this round and you get that number exactly correct, I know I'm not showing you much here. Here, I'll show some cards while I'm talking. So if you bid three, you get that number exactly correct. You get three, you get 20 points times that number. So that would be 60 points. So that's another way late in the game, you can really gain a bunch of points and potentially win. Again, feeling like you're in that game throughout, you're in the game throughout the, the, the entire game because of that ramping mechanism. Um, two other little things I think is really are really clever about this game. Um, one, if you miss that number, so say I bid three, I think I'm gonna win three and I actually win four, I don't get those, I don't get points. I don't get positive points at all. However, I, uh, I only lose 10 points for every trick different, the, the, the variance, I, I lose 10 points for the variance. So I'm, I was one trick off in that example, and so I lose 10 points. And so I like that you're not losing as many points as you would gain if you got that number exactly correct. And it still makes you, even after, you, after you've missed it, it makes you want to get it really close. Like if, if you bid five and halfway through the round, you're like, oh wow, I, I've only won one trick, I'm really not going to get up to five. The game doesn't encourage you to give up at all because the game is still encouraging you to get closer and closer to that number, that number to, uh, to get more tricks. My cat is going crazy in the background here. The other thing I wanted to mention, um, there are some cards with special abilities, but I think my favorite card in the game are the 14s because the 14s give a 10 point bonus to any player that wins the card. I think there are four of these, four different uh, numbered suits in the game and you get a 10 point bonus. And so in, in this way, not only is the number of tricks uh, uh, an important uh, target for you to, to go after, but also at times there will be spe specific tricks that you want to win because they'll give you extra points. And that kind of changes the equation. You might go into the last few turns of a round thinking, okay, I, I, I know which one I'm going to win. I have, I have a great card. I have the Skull King himself. I'm going to win this trick. But then someone plays uh, the 14 or you know, you think maybe a 14 is out there and you might want to wait until you get it so that you get some extra points from that trick. I think that's a really clever addition as well. I had a lot of fun with Skull King. I can't wait to play it again and teach it to other friends. And I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below about the game itself or any games that are similar to this, especially that ramping mechanism, because I really, really love that. Thanks.